Hi and welcome to another sketching video and uh, it's another pretty chilly day in uh, December here on um, in North Wales and uh, I've just, I was going to say Anglesey there but actually we've just come over the bridge and we're in the Bangor Botanic Gardens, the Trebors Ban um, Botanical Gardens and there's this beautiful old tree here, this beautiful oak tree behind me that I'm going to have a go at sketching and a uh, fairly quick sketch I think because it's a bit chilly uh, and I'm having to sit on the ground but we're going to have a go at this uh, in um, mixed media, I'm going to have a go at it in charcoal and a bit of water and maybe throw in a bit of gouache as well. So mixed media is kind of mixing things together and I'll talk a bit about that uh, in today's sketch. So we're gonna try and keep it under 10 minutes and just to get a feel for this beautiful old oak tree. Right, now um, I've got the oak tree in front of me and there's my boots. <laughs> um, but there's no way for me to get both in shot today. So as I've done previously, I'll put a picture of what I'm drawing up um, alongside the video so that you can see that and follow on. Um, and I'll show you what I've got uh, to my side here. I've got my um, gouache palette and I've got, um, I've got a felt tip pen, I've got a charcoal pencil, uh, I've got a brush, I've got a rubber and eraser, I've got a graphite stick as well and I've also got an additional piece of charcoal and then I've got a little pot of water just off camera there as well. So I'm going to be just um, going with the flow here and seeing what it is I like to do according to the shapes. This is such a strong twisting tree. I'm going to start off, uh, I'm focusing basically on the base of the tree and I'm just going to um, use the charcoal pencil to start off and uh, as I say I'm going to keep it as a sketch rather than a detailed drawing on this video although it's a sort of subject I might really want to just come back to at some point because it's really very beautiful. Um, in the December light in the mid-afternoon it's actually looking a little bit dark now but um, let's see how much I can get this on shot. I'm going to go with fairly broad strokes and you know, it's really important whenever you're sketching something that you, you choose what interests you, you know. Um, you could find something that's actually quite a, what initially looks like quite a dull subject. Um, but once you start to, we have a look around it, you might find if you look at it from different angles or um, by, you know, trying sitting down and looking up at it, looking at it close up, looking at it further away, or climbing in another tree and looking at it from, <laughs> from higher up, that you actually find something unusual and interesting in it. And you know, that's the best starting place for any sketch is that you find something initially quite interesting. And the other approach, of course, is that you start with something which is actually rather dull and you find interest by, by looking closely at it, which I might, I might talk about in another video. But um, as you can see from this, I'm going fairly boldly for the, for the outline as I often do, I've talked about in other videos, and these beautiful um, thick branches. I'm just doing very boldly in there with bold strokes. This is a, a soft charcoal pencil, and it's quite nice to work with. And I'm not working on a white paper today. I've chosen a cream paper for a change. And, you know, you can mix it up with the paper colours and experiment. And I can do um, some different, different paper colours, different paper surfaces. This kind of suits the warm undertone of the tree there and I'm going to use a little bit of rubbing with my fingers there to kind of smudge the tones together to give it a sense of solidity but I am working quite fast as you can see because I'm actually pretty uncomfortable. <laughs> I've sat down here on the leaves and my legs are facing up so I'm having to bend forward to see this um, but you'll often find whenever you're outside sketching and you find something that you really want to do that you can't necessarily get yourself in an awfully comfortable position as well so working quickly um, is, is great to be able to do that so I'm going for these major major branches here I hope I can get this all in the camera quite near the footpath so we'll get some people passing by And um, I can't see my face, but I'm looking a lot at the tree itself, looking a lot at it, and my hand is moving quite quickly on the paper. And sometimes it's quite handy, you know, when you're starting out and you want to stretch yourself a bit and not 
get too bogged down in details if you're kind of inclined to do that to say okay right I'm going to give myself one minute to get this outline, outline down or give yourself a crazy challenge and see and you'll be you might be just really amazed um, at what you can do in that time if you kind of push yourself if you, if you tend to get a bit bogged down in detail um, if you're the other extreme then you can take times over the details now you find it smudging other parts of the paper but now I've got most of that down, I'll just get these branches down here. Um, have a look at that, and they're really gorgeous. So I'm not sure how old this tree is, but it's just really wonderful character to it. And it's, every branch seems to be just full of this sense of strength and age and solidity. Now, as I go along, I make some marks. Maybe I correct them, go over the top of the bits I've done before. And then I can just smudge that a bit. Going over the outlines there, that doesn't matter. I'm getting, what I'm also thinking about here in this drawing, which I haven't really talked about before, is getting a sense of expression in it, getting a sense of the feeling in it. And I think one of the things this, this tree conveys to me is that sense of incredible weight, incredible age, and strength to withstand probably certainly decades if not hundreds of years of weather and pretty tough weather up here sometimes and winds rain so it's like a sort of ancient ancient creature And I think that that sense of strength in age is something I kind of want to I want to convey in this. I think. Um, so it's got these really lovely shapes, and I'm going to pressing quite hard with this. You can probably hear that squeaking. I've got quite a soft charcoal pencil. They come in different grades. You can get softer ones, and this this little stringy bit. Well, you kind of pull that bit down and then you can unwrap this. Well, I don't need to unwrap it, but it's just a bit flapping about a bit there. That's what that is, in case you're wondering. <laughs> and I've got another, another branch there. I want to just darken up the whole thing, just give it a little tonal work there. And the branch coming out, that one has been a bit broken off, a bit wounded. I'm going to draw right to the end of it because I'm choosing my focal my focus of interest, which is really the main the main portion of the tree and the outline the, the immediate outline branches without getting too involved in because it's a huge tree actually, um, but I'm not going to get involved in in the the detail of the smaller branches right out to the twigs and the whole shape of the tree. Um, that could be another another video with more detail in it and I think probably when the summer comes around I'll make some I might make some sort of longer studies outside or shoot them at intervals so that uh, you could see a, a fuller drawing. Um, now I'm coming back in to these amazing bark formations here which are kind of the tree wrinkles <laughs> in a way but each one marks what it marks so it marks time certainly doesn't it and its growth pattern and it's characteristic as an oak because all the trees the deciduous trees have a very distinctive and characteristic form of their own and i think at this time of year when the all the leaves are well, not quite all fallen off this tree but mostly pretty much fallen off that and you can get to see these really beautiful the shapes of the branches it's like seeing the structure the underlying structure um, and it's a really fantastic thing to study and as I said before I think when I was talking about drawing a bridge I said try to you know, make sure you get that connectedness between the base of an object and the surface that it's on if you want it to really look like it's weighted down and really holding onto the earth or part of the earth connected so at the base 
at the base of this where that tree trunk reaches the ground I'm actually going to give it that weightier line and make sure I kind of really render in where that's meeting the ground um, it's very leafy there's a huge amount of leaf fall here so it's like it's feet <laughs> the feet of the tree And what you can do as well if you're out sketching and you're doing, um, you know, maybe it starts to rain. Maybe you get that phone call you've just got to answer. Maybe you've got to go, you run out of time. Then you can take some shots, you know, take some shots with your, firstly with your eyes. <laughs> really try to remember what's in front of you. And then you can work into what you've got a little bit more maybe later in the day or when you get back to your to your house or wherever you are um, take some close-ups with with your camera as well with your phone um, or come back another time so I'm really just trying to get a sense of that solid shape there it's just coming coming together I'm not sure that it looks rather limb-like I think at the moment. Now what I might do as well, I haven't worked into this yet, I hope, is use a bit of water now as well on top of that charcoal. What it does it sort of kind of has a little bit of the effect of ink and wash. It spreads the charcoal out a bit. It doesn't dissolve it completely but it dissolves it enough for you to blend um, blend the form a bit and this is a really handy technique again if you're wanting to do a fairly quick sketch but you you know rather than sitting and shading all that in by hand I can just run some water over here and have a look at where those those tones are darkening and even take that right down to the base there on the ground so you're it's helping you to create the sense of a, of a solid form quite quite quickly there um, now mixed media as I mentioned before mixed media can really be anything it just means maybe it's not just pure watercolor or pure charcoal but you've you've mixed a few things different things together and they can be all kinds of things um, there really isn't a rule thank god <laughs> what's rules here you know in art, in art you can learn all sorts of rules and then you know break them all it's good to learn them first you know in terms of if I draw something like that, then it really looks like this, or I can use certain techniques. But to be artistic, you kind of create your own. Now, I might work into that a little bit also with, um, I've got a, a felt tip pen here. Now, this will give me some instant darker, say darker blacks, but if I wanted to find some areas a bit more. work with that still working really quite quickly here because I'm really in an uncomfortable position so I could do that I can also work a little bit more with um, a charcoal stick I've got here and to get an impression of more of what's going on there on the ground it's just very sort of Quite rough with the leaf falls so I'm just going to be suggestive about the texture there really so I'm just I'm not thinking at all about any shape I'm not thinking about any detail all I'm thinking about there is creating a sense of texture which is um, obviously pretty crispy crispy and rotting with all the leaves um, and I could add in some other things as well but I think I probably won't do that any more to that just now. I'm going to hold it like that and let's hold this up to the tree as well. And I'll put a, probably a close up of that tree on there. Um, I was hoping to get down to Menobush today, but I think I'll get that on another day because it's a bit inaccessible from where I am. So that's that's a, scree uh, a tree sketch. Um, if you've got any trees near you, have a go. Always try and have a go from life rather than from a photograph. I think photographs can be great in support, but you can always tell when a drawing's from a photograph because of nuances of the light conditions and certain other things so 
take up the challenge and um, have a sketch at something and let me know how you get on. Do post up your pictures and I say I'll put a picture up of this um, on, uh, on my page on Facebook and so that you can have a look at this or put it on Instagram as well. Thanks so much for watching. Do share around. Thanks so much for the shares and likes. Um, please keep them coming. A lot of people, it's quite surprising who's taking up art again, having seen a few videos. So it's, it's really gratifying to hear. Thanks so much. And uh, I look forward to all your comments. Thanks for watching.